To get started, you should choose a suitable site to pitch your tent. A good site should be flat and have proper drainage so rainwater does not accumulate. Remove all sharp objects which may damage the tent floor. Spread the tent out flat on the ground and assemble the two pull sets by unfolding and interlocking the shock corded pull sections together to form single straight poles. Lay the two assembled tent poles on top of the tent. Place the ends of the poles onto the pins located at the tent corners until all four pole ends are in place and the poles form a dome over the tent. Attach the clips on the tent around the tent poles to assemble the tent. Lay the fly sheet over the tent. Position the vestibules over the tent doors, which are located on the sides of the tent. Attach the buckle from each corner of the fly sheet to the buckle at each tent corner. The webbing from the fly sheet to the buckle can be adjusted to properly tension the fly sheet. The fly sheet should be snug, but not overly stretched. Place a tent peg at each tent corner and each stakeout point. If the conditions are windy, or you anticipate it may become windy, it is advisable to attach the guy lines. Properly guying, especially on the side facing the wind, will help keep the tent from shifting. Additional wind protection can be found inside the fly seam, where hook and loop fasteners can be attached to the tent poles. For more information on this tent or any other great camping gear, go to alpsmountaineering.com.